Whenever Krishna is God-possessed in a divine way, his life will experience maximum power. As the eleventh incarnation out of ten arts of Vishnu, he was equal to number twenty-two. Sixty-four arts were mastered by Lord Krishna. He was both an archer and a dual warfare expert at the same time. There are many incarnations of Vishnu from the Hindu trinity of gods, the greatest of whom is Krishna's incarnations as the great exponent of the Bhagavad Gita. His avatar is perhaps the most popular among the many Vishnu gods, the closest to Hindu hearts is that of his wife. The fourth incarnation, avatar, or avatar, or the eighth incarnation, Viveda, of Vishnu as well as an undisputed god in himself, was hailed as such by all Indian divinities. When Krishna made Durdana mortal, he smothered the vulnerable Durdana because he was most vulnerable in that place. In the end, his body became nearly as strong as steel thanks to his energy. Thank you for watching our video and if you truly enjoyed it, please hit the like, share, and subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell for notifications of our latest content. It turned out, aka Shaivani first told Kamsa he would be God when he was born, then his appearance showed his powers, and also there was a necessity to keep the battle going since Kamsa was sending so many demons to kill her. A very fact. Krishna cannot avoid giving mercy to anyone, that is how weak he is in one sense. His love for God and his blessings to everyone is overwhelming. Embrace this weakness and become fully merciful with Almighty Lord so that you can take advantage of this. In all spheres of life and in all walks of existence, he is regarded as an eighth avatar of Vishnu. Indians worship him as the god of love, protecting, compassion, and tenderness and he's widely regarded throughout India.